Coming up on this hour of San Antonio Living, it's a four-day event that will showcase over 125 bands from around the United States. We've got a preview of what you can see at this year's Tejano Music Awards. Plus, if you want to learn how to become a real estate investor, we have got the event for you. Victor Moss takes homes like this and gets them on the market and sells them to make money. We're going to tell you everything you need to know when buying an investment property. And then how you can get runway hairstyles in just five minutes. Celebrity stylist Justin Ariano is here with some quick and trendy hairdos. It's all ahead. San Antonio Living starts now. San Antonio Living starts right now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to San Antonio Living. I'm Shelly Miles. Claudia Garofalo is with us this morning. How are you? Hi. How are you? Welcome back. Thank you. I was on like a, a dance mom trip. Ooh, we, dance mom. Yes. Took the, the kid to Dallas. How did it go? It was great. We, we did a lot of fun things in Dallas, but man, was it tough getting there. Uh-huh. Okay. It was raining here in San Antonio. The roads in Dallas were crazy. Ooh, yes. Dallas has some crazy drivers, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, they weren't driving, that's for sure, because no <laughs> one could go anywhere. Take a look. I've got a couple of pictures to share with you this morning. Of course, that was what oh. it looked like on the road. I am pulled over to the side, obviously stopped there going into Dallas. It was craziness trying to get there. And then that's Addie on the Ooh, left and one of her dance friends. There was like four inches of snow. snow. Yeah, that's I know. Cool. It was the craziest thing. But we had such a good time dancing and playing in the snow, so it was a lot of fun. Oh. Well, glad you're back. And Thank that looks you. Like a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, get this, Shelly. Tinder now the has dating site? the dating okay. site. Yes. Okay. Now has paid memberships for ten dollars or twenty dollars if you're over thirty. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have to pay if you're over thirty. You have to pay if you're over thirty. You have to pay more if you're over thirty. Oh, why? I don't know. But <laughs> that, come on. That's I'm over crazy. 30. That is it's interesting. Just not good. But so anyway. they're only making you pay if you're over thirty. Because you have, there's like some new features to this. There's site, right? new features, yes. Now it's called Tinder Plus. You can set your location to anywhere in the world. So like, if you're traveling, you're not exactly in San Antonio. You can swipe with people in that area. Okay. If you swipe left to reject someone and then instantly regret it, you can rewind. You can <laughs> so unswipe. You can, like, okay. You can unswipe. Yeah. And I believe Tinder is going to start having ads in a few months, and paid members won't see them. So that's the deal. If you're a paid you member, pay if you're, you're not going to see the ads. Huh? That's yeah. interesting. That you. I mean, we were talking about this earlier this morning, and that's the interesting. Yeah thing about this is that if you are over 30, you have to pay more to use Tender than people who are 21, 2, 3, 4, that 5, so 6, 7. That's so sad. I so I guess they're making the old people pay more. Yeah, not good. I don't yeah, like that I at know. all. So <laughs> since we're talking about dating, let's toss uh -huh. it over to Denise, because I know you're on Facebook talking about some dating rules, right? Exactly. So there was a new survey that came out from onmutualterms.com, and it talked about the dating rules that you should break, okay? So here's a couple that made the list. The man has to always pay on the first date. That th they think that that rule should not exist anymore. Yes. Okay. I think the man should pay on the first date. Okay. Yes. That's my opinion. Yeah. I think he should always pay on the first I'm date. A fan. When you go on more dates, you can talk about it then. First date, the man pays. Second, mm. another rule is if you don't kiss on the first date, the relationship won't work. That's a rule that they're saying that's not true anymore. Okay. And the top one that makes the list is always wait to call three days after. You know how the guys are told that's you, gotta, so dumb. you gotta give huh. it some time. Yeah. Exactly. That's what all of these people thought. That's so dumb. They don't agree with that rule anymore. So ladies, can you think off the top of your head any rules of dating since y'all are both avid daters? Oh yeah. Because uh -huh. I've been on a be date broken. recently. Yeah. Like yeah. 14 years ago. <laughs> when was the last time we were on a date? <laughs> so know, my daughter people. told me the other day and you know you kind of mentioned it like when you get a phone call you're not supposed to return it mm -hmm. well she was like this guy snapchatted me and I'm like well did you snapchat him back and she's like no I have to wait until like oh, three days later dear. to snapchat him oh back. Oh my gosh, How that's funny. funny. Thing. Well, I know. I, like, I have a some. six year old and she skipped the dating. She is married <laughs> to one of her classmates. Oh, oh wow. We need, a, okay. we need a whole new rule book for that one. Yeah, we do. That's for sure. I love it. <laughs> that's too oh, funny. Boy. They they don't do the uh, calls anymore. It's all about Snapchat. Mm -hmm. But um, I so those there's a list on our Facebook page. You can check it out. But then we want to know what you think about it. So we're asking you, which dating rule should you add to the list that should be broken. 
Which rule do you not abide by anymore? Let us know on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash news 4 essay. We'll need to get some tips for our viewers, ladies, because okay. y'all have been out of the dating game for a yeah, while. Yeah, we're out of the pool. We don't know what to say. <laughs> I sure don't. Oh, so I know. Sad. It is real sad. No, it's good. No, it's, it's good. good. It's good. good. Oh, it's like you're married. <laughs> Dates are okay <laughs> when you're married for us. Yeah, long story uh -huh. short. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Moving on this morning, we mentioned Snapchat. They made the list for billionaires. Forbes oh, just released their brand new I list of it. billionaires. And the guys behind Snapchat, uh, Uber, and Minecraft are on it. So it's wow. kind of changing because, it of is. course, Bill Gates is still at the top of the list. But mm -hmm. now it's it's all these young kids coming up with these amazing, you know, social media ideas and gaming and things like that. Yep. Here's an interesting fact: there are 1,826 billionaires in the world. Very Ooh. interesting, right? That's wow, a lot that is me. a lot. A lot of billionaires are out there. Are you sure my name? wasn't on the list? Yeah, no. Are you sure? <laughs> Positive. We did not make it. Oh, man, Shelly, someday, someday. Yep. Okay, so you can now buy mint vanilla flavored green milk for St. Patrick's Day. Yum, I like that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. How do you feel about mint milk, though? I think it'd be okay. It's oh, look kind at that. Of bright. It is bright. Well, a <laughs> company called Trumu is selling a mint and vanilla flavored green milk, perfect for St. Patty's Day. Other dairies have sold green milk before, but they've always been regional. This one's going to go nationwide. It's going to be sold all over the U.S. You make sure you pick up some and party with it. I like that. Patty's it's like Day. green milk or green beer. Yeah. I'm going to go with the green beer, but I'll pick up some green <laughs> yeah. milk for the kids. That's for sure. Yeah, it looks yummy. Uh, we've got a big show coming to the Majestic Theater. It is called Once. It's won eight Tony Awards, including Best Best Musical and winner of the 2013 Grammy Award for Best Musical Theater Album. They will be here uh, March 3rd, so it's going on right now through the 8th. There are still some tickets available, and of course you can get them online. Everything you need to know is on your screen. And we do have a pair of tickets to give away this morning. If you are the fourth caller to 366-0308, those tickets are yours. All right, Claudia, are you ready to meet our fan of the day? It's time. Who is it? It's Blanca. Oh, hello, Blanca. Thanks for being a fan. We love chatting with you guys on Facebook. If you comment on today's talker, you may see yourself here on the show tomorrow morning. So All right. get chatting, that's for yeah. sure. All right, up next on San Antonio Living, if you want your hair to look just like the celebrities, we have got a celebrity stylist in studio to show us how to get